Welcome to NextLogic Printed Circuit Board's video series. In this session, we will cover Part 1 of the PCB Design Layout process. When it comes to PCB Design Layout, there are multiple steps which are involved in this process. These steps are Layout Preparation, Parts Library Creation, Constraint Setup, Component Placement, Routing, Post Processing, in this tutorial video, we will go over steps 1, 2, and 3, which are layout preparation, parts library creation, and constraint setup. In layout preparation, the NextLogic engineer creates PCB board files and identifies its net list, which is a connections list between different components. The board outline is created either manually or imported from a DXF file from AutoCAD software. Mounting holes, tooling holes, heat sinks, and fiducials are placed onto the board. Layer stack up showing the layer construction is then defined. All copper layers that include both routing and planes are defined in the layer definition of the layout software, such as Cadence Allegro or Mentor Graphics Pads. When it comes to library creation for components, the NextLogic Layout Engineer reviews the component data sheets containing mostly mechanical dimensions of the parts, containing the footprints, package types, symbols, decals, and pad stacks. After completion of the library, the net list is imported into the CAD software. The third step of the PCB design layout process is constraint setup which is generally required for the high-speed PCB designs. This entails setting up the electrical and physical constraints, setting up different via sizes, and specifying net classes and properties. It is mostly used for differential pairs, clock and impedance control nets, some of which would require length matching. Thank you for your time, and we hope you found the material helpful. For further information or if you have any questions, contact one of our PCB specialists at 1-888-NEXTLOGIC or email us at support at nextlogic.com.